Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So, today I'm going to show you the easiest way, probably the easiest way, to get Alice Packs and Night Vision Goggles. Um, so it seems that you could be very late into the game and still not have NVGs, which is what we're going to call Night Vision Goggles. Or, er, uh, Night Vision Glasses? Goggles? Something? I don't know. Um, and still not have, so you can be very late in the game and still not have NVGs and Alice packs. So, I'm going to first go over the ways that you can get them that are common, and then I'm going to go to the best way to get them. So, um, they will spawn very rarely at Alika and the Volcano and other uh, military spots. But, uh, and then they'll also spawn on the Alani um, with a higher chance, because that is a dead zone over there. But it seems that the best way to get them is by finding Megas at Alika military base or uh, the volcano. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the Megas seem to drop them the most. I don't think the new Megas drop them. I haven't really messed around with them. But uh, so the only problem with that though is that it's pretty rare to find a Mega. They get if if you're like constantly going to these spots. You'll find like a couple a day, it seems, maybe, if you're lucky. So, how do we get more? So, on this map specifically, it's very easy to get chemicals and it's very easy to get raw explosives. So, keeping that in mind, uh, it seems that the best way to get Alice Packs and NVGs on this map is to start Horde Beacons, do them to the point at which the Mega comes out, and then run out of the zone. So, you guys know that when you start a horde beacon, um, there's a zone that you have to stay in, and if there's no players in that zone, then the horde beacon ends. And so you want the horde beacon to end, but not until you have the mega out. And then you just leave, the horde beacon ends, and then that mega is now a normal z mega zombie. So it'll actually have normal mega drops. Yeah. Um, so let's go test this out real quick. I'll meet you guys over at the cave over here. All right, guys, so uh, here we are at the cave right here. Um, as you guys know, this is where I do my horde beacons because there's this glitch spot here. I'm sure there's other glitch spots on other maps and probably more on this one. But yeah, so you just have to find one of those to make uh, doing the horde beacon easy. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling through it. And while you'll we'll still get a lot of Alice packs and NVGs, it's just going to be more difficult. So what I normally do is I put a safe zone generator and a normal generator on top of this red thing. And that's just to make it so that zombies don't spawn in this back area and you can easily get them into the glitch spot. Safe zone radiator. Portable gen. Get some gas in this guy. And now we're good to go. So we're just going to go up here. And like the best thing to do would be to put a bunch of fires in this place, just so it's not dark. What was that? Oh, hat. All right, so we're gonna toss down the horde beacon. So anywhere up here, doesn't really matter. And so now it'll begin and all the zombies will spawn back there as you guys know. So yeah, you just chainsaw them and I'll... S I'm just going to cut this out. I'll see you guys when the Mega spawns. Yes, yes. Ah. Man, these spitters are kind of annoying. Oh, there's the Mega. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to make sure oh god well one way or another this mega is going to become a normal mega because either we're, we'll die here oh god all right there we go so now the horde beacon is gone this mega is a normal mega uh, we chose to get Alice Packs and NVGs instead of like Night Garebs and Dragon Fangs and Echoes like you get from the uh, normal Horde Beacons. 
Alright, we're just gonna chill here and let him destroy that car. Because this is sketchy. It'd be funny if that killed him. Alright. Gonna make a run for it here. I should have upgraded my running. We're gonna go back to our normal glitch spot here. And he shouldn't be able to hit us through this. As you guys can see up there, the horde beacon is gone. And so now you just murder this guy like you would a normal mega zombie. And he shouldn't take too much to kill. Because he is a normal mega. Um, and by the way guys, Vex is the one that introduced this method into our group. Um, and he has a theory that the ones with their shirts off have better loot. Or something like that. I think that's what it was. But, I don't know. We can never figure out if that's true or not. If you guys figure it out, do tell me. Alright, there we go. Let's see what we got. Nothing good. Military night vision scope. But, yeah, I mean, we've gotten multiple Alice packs from a single one. You guys gotta remember that it drops five items, and there's a good chance that one of those items is gonna be an Alice pack or NVGs. So we got unlucky on this one, but it is a good method of getting that stuff. Alright guys, well, that pretty much does it for this episode. Episode, I don't know, video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have suggestions of what I should release in the future, please do write in the comments. Um, I'm planning on doing some RP at some point, an RP video. And I'll keep streaming Kit PvP and Skywars. Alright. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.